ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be on COD World War II, and there was an update to the way that the visions work and how the game plays overall. So if you didn't know, as I didn't, because I have not been keeping up with the game, they've released a new DLC, whoop de doo and whilst I have not bought it, while they released the DLC, they have adjusted classes. If you didn't know, something like infantry would give you a an additional slot to your primary, an additional attachment, and to whereas if you didn't have it, you'd only get two. Now that has been changed to where every class gets three attachments for primaries and gunslinger. Not, oh my god, infantry will give you a fourth attachment, which yeah, I mean it's nice, you know. Every bit helps, I guess. And you also, they've been changed overall. So if I go here, uh, you can get a couple of different things. All about play styles. Each division has a new passive ability that fits its play style. Previous division skills, like the SMG suppressor, are no longer particular. Hmm. <laughs> it's interesting. While aiming down sights, have less idle sway. That's interesting. Especially because I really like to use the uh, carabine. Actually, to be honest, I had to really wish that it was available to everything. Reduced idle slay, because sniping in this game kind of sucks. But anyway, that's besides the point. The gameplay changes that they have introduced along with the divisions is also in an attempt to counter all of the camping and very, 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 very passive gameplay that is in this game. They have given all classes unlimited sprint, but they have reduced how fast you move when you're sprinting overall but it is unlimited so there is that how do i feel about this well i believe that this change will kind of change the game how it plays overall but is it really gonna bring people back to this game i just don't think so guys like the game has suffered from what a lot of gaming's Oh, oh my gosh, I can speak, guys. This game has suffered from what a lot of games have been suffering from in the last year and 2018 overall. And that's the absolute trending bullcrap that is microtransactions and bad releases. Games from last year, like, you know, as the year was ending, have just been destroyed with microtransactions as well as bad releases i mean let's let's look at, let's look at a couple shall we we've got cod this right here we've got destiny 2 we've got star wars battlefield we've got uh what is that thing called um marvel versus capcom infinite you know and the list can continue. Like, all of these games are suffering either from microtransaction spam or over marketing and very piss poor management in terms of gameplay. And when they're released, people see that, hey, this doesn't seem like it had a lot of time and effort put into this. So, why would I spend $60 on this product? only to be screwed over eventually because I need to pay microtransactions to get some new DLC. A prime example of this is this game. This game is very, very, very... <laughs> I, I can't even think of a word to describe how bad this game was made. You have literally divisions instead of perks which i don't think anyone cares for divisions instead of perks because let's be honest 
a perk or a division. This isn't. This is Call of Duty. This isn't some freaking you know game like Destiny where the class that you choose is dependent is going to determine how you're going to play. This is Call of Duty. It should be perks and me finding the perfect synergy to play how I'd like to play. Divisions are just awful. Unlimited Sprint. I kind of feel like it should be a staple now in Call of Duty's. Or at least, like, to where it makes you feel like you don't want to freaking fall over. Because if you play this game, you know... Before this update, like, Sprint lasted, like, five seconds. Like, it was nothing compared to other Call of Duties, and you did not move fast at all. Also, I'd like to say, let's be honest, let's look at these weapons. This is a whole lot of, uh, a lot of variety right here. You know, like, automatics everywhere. Also, what's interesting to me is... Bolt actions are only available to, uh, to snipers. Like, these, these things could, you know, uh, these things were in, like, the previous CODs. Like, if you've ever played COD 3, PlayStation 2, multiplayer, like, I doubt that you have, because, like, I'm, I'm, I may not be old, but... I've been playing Call of Duty for a long time. I'll tell you that. There were all types of weapons. You know, like, the KAR didn't necessarily have a scope on it. You could get a scoped version. But it had, you know, the usual iron sights with the bolt. So did the, uh... What is it called? It, it was... It was like a, uh... A what? I'm not sure. I can't remember the name. Like, it's been years decades actually since i played the game but world at war if you know like you could also like play with that um the japanese bolt action and it's like you had variety it wasn't just things just you know just put in like right now i'd say that this game in my opinion is just world at war with automatic weapons everywhere because let's be honest this game is just filled with automatics and Yes, I get it. Automatics were in World at War, but it's it's to the point where they're forgetting that World at War and World at War Two was fought mainly with rifles. It was fought mainly with rifles, and then you have, you know, the war mode, and it's like uh, you don't even get to move around in tanks. Even Call of Duty Three lets you do stuff like that. World War Two has just suffered from microtransaction spam and bad release with minimal effort in my opinion and in a lot of fans opinion put into this thing the map design is wow like this update is an attempt to improve the quality of the game but it's not going to change how people play this game because you have not altered maps you have not attempted to release anything good if you think about it, all of these maps are just really small and tight. Pause. Which is just shotguns and automatic weapons. Like, in the older Call of Duties, the maps were actually... They actually had depth. Like, you know, there would be a nice little kill zone that you could farm for freaking kills. There would be areas where you could, you know, just play it at a distance, pick off people... There was everything that you need. In this game, you just do not have the option to, you know, choose how you'd like to play. It's just rush, rush, rush. And then, honestly, whilst I like aggressive combat, I like to snipe every now and again. I like to use burst weapons every now and again. You can't do that in this game. Like, you can you can try, but unless you're going to quick scope spam, then it's just not going to happen. And all I can say is, even though I can respect that they're trying to improve this game because they've chosen to go this route, so there's nothing that they can do but continue, I do really want to explain 
how disheartening it is to see that instead of them actually trying to, you know, maps available for everyone, they're just going to change a bit about how the divisions work, give you unlimited sprint, and think that's going to fix things. That's not going to fix things. What's going to fix this game is actually changing maps up, giving you, I'd say, some more weapons, because, like, the variety of weapons in this game is just, is not good in my opinion. And, what is this? Like, well, let's appreciate this. Like, look at this variety. Four snipers. Four shotguns. Uh, that's six. Plenty of, uh, automatic weapons. Rifles. Plenty of, um, automatic rifles as well. I don't see how people can honestly say that there is nothing wrong with how this game is. Because, like, there are some people, like, who are just outright defending it. You know, this update is a step in the right direction, I will not lie, but... It's what we need is for Activision to get their crap together and realize this right here. See this? This ain't doing it, Activision. This, these, no. No. We don't want this. This, this right here? No. We're not going to give you money if you screw us over. If you made a good game, I'd have no problem giving you money. But you're, you don't. All you care about is money, Activision. And like I said, Sledgehammer, I, I, I respect that you're trying to continue. But this is this is basically a done deal. Like The people who play are going to keep playing. The people who are, are gone are not coming back. It's just that simple. Ugh. Jeez. Just give us a good game. Not supply dropped, with weapon variety, and uh, I promise you, you'll get your money. We understand that you want your money, but for you to get your money, you gotta actually do some good. How about that? Can we all agree on that? I think we can all agree on that. Anyway, that's the end of my analysis on this update. It's not really gonna do much. People who are gonna play are gonna play, but... I doubt this is going to make anyone come back. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Rate the video what you think it deserves. Please tell me what you'd like to see in the channel in the future in the comments below. And I will see all of you people in the next video. Take care.